Shalom to the nation of Israel. This is Baruch Zal coming in the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak, Wadash. Double honors to the Apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful light, which is word and truth, and to say across the four corners of the earth. This lesson is going to be titled <clears throat> Destruction is Coming. Um, you know, like people think they're safe right now with everything that's going on. They think that. The worst has uh, passed when it's just that was just like the 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 prequel before the the actual story gets really crazy, right? Or the 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 climax hasn't even started yet of the story, <clears throat> right? You know, the story. When I say the story, I mean Yahweh was Shimyo Shai story. Like Yahweh is the director, right? So this is his movie, his story, his novel. <clears throat> so the word destruction in etymology means ruin. So ruin, big, great ruin is coming, right? Devastation, right? A lot of people, a lot of people are gonna be devastated. A lot of people are gonna be ruined. A lot of uh, countries are gonna be ruined and devastated, right? Especially Babylon's gonna be the, the number one uh, hot spot of destruction. <clears throat> also Israel, because they need to be cleansed with the fire, right? Israel needs to be cleansed. Because that's where our headquarters headquarters is going to be, but it's defiled right now. And I talk about destruction. I'm talking about the destruction from the ICBM missiles. That's what's going to bring that destruction, and also the lasers from the chariots. <clears throat> it also says a pulling down. So yeah, there's gonna be a pulling down of Esau's government. Of his government is gonna be pulled down to the ground, and with him included. Right, the beast is gonna be pulled down to the ground. It also says tear down, demolish, unbuild. Yep. <clears throat> so we're going to start off at Isaiah 13 and 19. <clears throat> and Babylon, the glory of, glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. <clears throat> so that's to me. That's the Sodom and Gomorrah was kind of like a small example of what's going to happen to his place. What's going to happen to a Babylon, which is America? Canada's going to get hit too, right? But America's going to be wiped out, right? So when you saw Sodom and Gomorrah was the the fire and brimstone, you know the Most High is going to do this the same idea with the fire, but now he's going to do it with missiles, <clears throat> right? And it's going to cleanse everything. But everyone doesn't really take in that this is going to happen. They still think everything's good. They thought the destruction was what was going on with the planet when, you know, um, <clears throat> the whole virus is on the scene. Some people think it's actually over. Like nothing else is going to come and we're all good. Right? But the thing is, the worst has yet to come. Isaiah 24 and 6, Therefore have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. <clears throat> right? So they're going to be burned. Like I said, burned with the fire from the ice beam missiles, the chariot, and also with the beams of the chariots. But more importantly, the missiles. There's so many missiles are going to be fired off, because it's not going to be just from one country, it's going to be multiple countries, because they're all going to turn on Babylon. Right? And you can really see it happening now if you're watching the news. These countries are starting to turn on in Babylon, which is America, right? Because it had enough of, of, her, of her bullshit, you know? So it's going to be a lot of missiles, which is going to be a lot of fire, which is why America's going to be wiped out. <clears throat> Isaiah 26 and 20. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee, Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. <clears throat> right? And his people are talking about Israelites, but more importantly, the elect, right? With the one third, right? But the elect are going to be the ones that are going into the chambers, and the chambers are the, the chariots, right? But you can also say the chambers are, are the, uh, under the, the protection of Yahweh by Shemiel Shai, right? Yahweh, because if you have Yahweh's name, and also, scriptures also say Yahweh's uh, name is a strong tower. So what do you do with a strong tower? A strong tower is where you go running for protection, right? But to open the door, <clears throat> the door, which is Yahweh Shai, you need Yahweh Shai, 
right? That's why I said Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahushai. So that's another form of chambers. That's a place where you stay safe and get protected from anything that's coming after you because it's a strong tower. But here it's talking about um, the, the chariots, right? Shut thy doors about thee, hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation, indignation be overpassed, right? So we're going to get beamed up. Yahweh Ba Hashem part of that number, you know? I pray that I'm part of the elect. <clears throat> we get beamed up and destruction is going to be happening. You see missiles, Babylon getting burned, right? People getting burned up, everything's getting wiped out. And then after it's done, we come back down and we gather up the, the, the Edomites, the nobles, and put them into slavery. But the destruction has to come first. And even before that, the MOTB has to be introduced, Right? So things have to happen before that happens. But the point is that destruction is coming. <clears throat> Isaiah 34 and 2. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury upon all their names. Slap. Let me read it again. For the indignation of the Lord Yahweh is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. <clears throat> right? So people, like, there's going to be destruction. Army's going to be taken out. Uh, military's going to be taken out. Tanks are going to be taken out. The flight are just going to be taken out. All nations, because all nations are going to turn. Well, first, after they shoot the missiles, they're going to turn on Babylon. But then, when Yahweh Shai appears, right, with the chariots, then they're going to turn on the chariots. And the chariots are going to wipe them out of the sky. They're going to wipe out everything. They're going to they're gonna clean up everything else. Right? <clears throat> but like I said, you have to <clears throat> you have to believe that this is that, that this is uh, going to happen. And whether you believe it or not, it's gonna happen anyways. I should say you have to believe well you have to believe it's gonna happen so you be so you have to fear the Lord, right? And do the right thing and repent and go to the Lord. If you don't believe this is gonna happen, then you're not gonna repent. You're like, ah, that's not going to happen. Ah, we're good. Or you think, maybe you do think missiles are going to come and you think you can hide in your bunkers, right? <clears throat> they always come back to the fear of the Lord and faith. Isaiah 66, <clears throat> 15. For behold, the Lord, Yahweh, will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. It's right there. Straight to the point. <clears throat> Got one more. Because the point has been made. Because <laughs> I just want to talk about destruction. Because it's coming. And it shall come to pass. If they say unto thee. Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them. Thus saith the Lord. Yahweh, such as are for death. To death. And such as for the sword to sword, and such are for the famine to famine, and such are for the captivity to captivity. <clears throat> right? So there's people that are just going to be, you know, everyone's set up. Everyone's set up. Have, everyone has their death. Most everybody has where this person's going to die like this, this person's going to die like this. Right? But at the end of the day, you don't know. Right? So if you truly believe and you truly are sincere and have that faith, you're going to go and repent and try to get right so you can be, uh, uh, um, you can, so you can run into that strong tower, right? So let me get that real quick. <clears throat> okay, run into that strong tower and be safe. So when the chariots come, you can, you can be beamed up into the chariots. Uh <clears throat> okay, right there. Psalm 61 and 3. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. Right? And who's the enemy? Esau Edom. So when uh, uh when the flood comes, because the scriptures always talk about the flood, we're talking about the Edomites, because if you would see the police or the armies when they come jump in, like when they barge into a house. It's like a flood, like a, like water just rushing to a house, right? When a flood comes, we're gonna be protected. We're gonna be uh, uh, sheltered because we have because we ran into the strong tower because we have that strong tower, which is 
Yahweh Hashem Yashai, right? <clears throat> but without Yahweh Hashem Yashai, we can't be. We're not going to be protected because Yahweh Yahweh Shai and Yahweh together are the strong tower. Because every tower has a door, and the door is Yahweh Shai. The tower is Yahweh, right? Proverbs eighteen and ten. The name of the Lord Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and and is safe. Same thing. So only the righteous, the ones that are that are righteous, that have that sincere spirit, that contrite spirit, are gonna run to the strong tower. And to get to the strong tower, you have to go through the door. And to go through the door, you have to repent. You have to come in humility and repent. Right? And put off that old man, put on the new man. Right? And it's the same thing. And the ones that do that are the ones that are gonna get beamed up. Right? Because they have faith, because they actually believe. Right, because they came, the, they came through the straight gate, right. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, that's it on that. I hope this lesson, ed- this slack. I hope this lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect that pushes word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, right. Death and destruction to his wicked kingdom and the two thirds as well. Kwam Yasharala, Abad Babal, and Shalom to next time.